Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. The NVIDIA app is just released, so no more beta. And they pretty much add a lot of uh, new features that they release on the beta also. Uh, and everything is now on the NVIDIA app, the official release. So we're going to look at it. I'm going to show you some optimization that you can do, some stuff that also you can use. First of all, in the home you should definitely look at the Discover tab over there. You have a lot of different products that NVIDIA have that you don't necessarily know about, and it's not in the NVIDIA app. For an example, the NVIDIA broadcast can be very cool with the AI power webcam. You can have a nice like green screen uh, generated by your AI. Also help with your microphone if you have like a fan, keyboard noise and stuff like that. It will remove all your ambient noise when you use that. So really cool if you're a streamer or a content creator. GeForce Now, if you need some cloud computing, you even have the chat RTX, if you have an RTX card and you want to use some kind of like a chat GPT, but on your GPU. So that's pretty cool. So a lot of different features that you can use over there. Now let's go to the driver section. Make sure that you're up to date. So right now I'm up to date. You will see new version all the time over there. So always make sure that you have the latest version. As you can see, the latest version, it has DLSS 3 DLLA for the new Microsoft Flight Simulator, Stalker 2. And also you will have some new profile to optimize some games that uh, you're currently installed on your computer. When you go to the graphic, so this is pretty much where you can optimize your game. So you can go with the best quality, the best performance or something between uh, balance between them. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of this optimize. If you don't know what you're doing, it can be good. But uh, of course, on my channel, you guys know, I always do guide for video games. So if you do it by yourself and do, do some testing, it will be better to just do that by yourself than just the optimize from NVIDIA. But it's still good if you don't know what you're doing and you just want, you know, a balanced experience. Do it and just click optimize. After that, in the global settings. So the first one is your RTX Vibrance that will boost your visual clarity. So, you know, on the control panel, you currently have the uh, slider that you can use for Vibrance. But now it's the RTX one. And when it works on like a video game that I don't know, you need to see enemy. It's very dark and stuff like that. It's really, really good <laughs> to see enemies. So I really recommend to using it. I also recommend to use your low latency mode if you want to uh, low to have the lowest input lag possible. You can also max your frame rate over there. So for people who need to lock their FPS, you can do that over there. If you just want to unlock it, go with off. I really recommend to use the fixed refresh rate for your monitor technology. So you want to make sure that uh, you're using the one from your monitor. Power management mode back then, maximum power was pretty good. Now, honestly, normal is a lot better. Uh, the algorithm from NVIDIA is very good to boost clock. And I've, I'm getting less FPS at performance than normal. So definitely use normal. For shader cache size, I think by default, it's 5 gig. Uh, if you have the space on your uh, drive, go higher than that, like 100 gig, something like that. And you're going to make sure that you don't have any shader issue because you don't have space. So no more stuttering when you use that. After that, in the system section, you have your monitor over there. Make sure that you have your native resolution activated. Make sure that you have the proper refresh rate. I know a lot of my friends, they buy like an eye refresh rate. They don't select the proper amount of Hertz and they're just running 60 when they, they think they're using 144. So super important to do that for both of your screen if you have an eye refresh rate on both. Also, you have your G-Sync option over there. If you want to activate, for example, on this one, the G-Sync, you just press on. You can select between full screen and full screen and window because sometimes some games don't run in full screen. So this one can definitely be good to use. I'm not using G-Sync. I always unlock my FPS to have the, uh, the lowest input lag possible. So that's why I'm not using it, but it's a good thing to use to synchronize your uh, monitor with your GPU and remove uh, those steering when you're playing. For video, you have a couple of options. You have the super resolution. So you press on, you can select auto or, or you have different level. So for an example, you're watching an old video 480p or 720p, something like that. Uh, with the AI, it will upscale your video so the quality will be better. So if you want to use that, you can do that. You also have the HDR over there. Uh, you will need to activate your HDR 
on your Windows, and it's pretty much an auto HDR, uh, but from NVIDIA, uh, again, with the RTX technology. So the cool thing is you can adapt your contrast, saturation, your peak brightness. And I did some testing on my Asus uh, monitor. I have an OLED monitor with HDR. And honestly, it's a lot better than the auto HDR from uh, Microsoft. So if you want to use that, you can definitely use that if you're playing, uh, I don't know, an old Quake Tree game and you want to put some HDR on it, you can do that. For performance, you have now a section with all your statistics and you have an automatic tuning that you can activate. I did a video on that and honestly, it's not that great. I'm not recommending to using it. I was like, maybe I had like a boost of 2 FPS and uh, it, it was not great the way they did it. You, I have a dedicated video on my channel to how to uh, overclock your GPU without any risk. And I really recommend do that by yourself manually and you will have a lot a better result than the automatic tuning. And after that, you have my rig. Uh, cool option over there if you want to use the old control panel from NVIDIA. It's still there. You can press open. If you buy a car, you just win something from NVIDIA. This is the place that you will redeem your game. So you just add your coupon code and click redeem. And the last one is your setting. I recommend you activate your NVIDIA uh, overlay and you can press Alt-Z. And now you have a, a couple of options over there. So the first thing I want to show you in settings, video capture, you have a lot of options right now. You have two different codecs, so you can use the H.264, but now you have the AV1, so the new encoder from uh, that it's on your video card if you have a 4000 series, and I think also 3000 series, I don't remember uh, by heart, uh, but it's a really cool feature. In low bit rate, it's a lot better than the H.264 over there, and also now you can get a crazy amount of resolution and FPS. So for an example, in 4K, you can record 4K at 120 FPS. You can put your bitrate at 250. That's pretty crazy. You can even record at 8K 60. So a lot of stuff that you can do over there. So definitely do some testing if you are a content creator or you need to record videos. Also... You have different options over there. So you have the proper record. You can take screenshot if you want. You have a photo mode that you can edit your stuff. You have highlight. If you don't want to record the old thing, you just press highlight, for an example, and you're saying, like, capture my highlight. It will recognize your game, and it knows, like, for an example, when I kill someone at on showdown, it will take a clip. When the player is down, it will take a clip. So really cool feature that you can use over there you also have the game filter uh it really depends on the game some games are compatible some games are not compatible so you can change with a lot of different filter over there you need to launch the game to apply it the last one i want to show you in the nvidia app is the statistic so in the statistic you can click over there so it's a bit like msi afterburner you have a couple of options that you can activate so for example if you want to see your temp, GPU temperature, GPU clock, voltage, and stuff like that. You can select whatever that you need, and you will see your statistic over there. So honestly, they, they really improve. First of all, the UI and the UX experience. It's a lot better than GeForce experience. And now you have a lot of also option to uh, for different, if you're a content creator, if you're just a pure gamer, a lot of stuff that you can do with this app. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my NVIDIA app guide. It's now released. Download it. Make sure that you update for the, the latest version. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me any question about the software or NVIDIA or GPU or whatever that you need to ask. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.